Here's a tour for you of the trees at the offices and art studio of the Dirt Doctor. Crate Myrtle, one of the few that I have. This is a dark uh, red one. And um, an imported maple, trident maple. It's a good one. My more favorite trees. This is maybe top three of my favorite trees. This is the Mexican white oak and it is a fantastic tree. Evergreen most all year. Got a little damage the last two winters because of the zero weather and then the uh, longer weather under uh, freezing we had. This is Caddo Michael and it's a good one. A lot slower growing though than this maple here. This is my favorite maple. This is the big tooth maple. And you can see it has beautiful foliage. It didn't uh, get hurt by the uh, winter at all. This one did get hurt a little bit. This is a cat's claw acacia. And it's a good one. It uh, does not have claws. And I think that was accidental. I'm not sure how it happened. I'm gonna try to propagate it, and get it on the market. This is a great residential tree. This is the lacy oak and it's good for it's good for residential property because it doesn't get so huge it uh, would be considered more of a medium size tree it has beautiful color on the new foliage in the spring and then it has a very unusual orange fall color another view for you of the uh, trident maple and give you a little different angle with the I can get out of the sun here the Mexican white oak now I'll show you a tree that's very similar in some ways to white oak around here but it's hard to find we're trying to get it on the market first this is dawn redwood fairly young one this is the native dogwood rough leaf dogwood a little crepe myrtle that was covered in scale and I simply exposed the flare dramatically and the scale insects went away this is parodia or Persian ironwood this one has yellow fall color uh, a different species also has a yellow fall color the tree in the background back there is the one I was going to tell you about that's somewhat similar to Mexican white oak. This is called loquat leaf oak. I'll show you more in the back. This is Eve's necklace, a native tree that's really terrific. This is red Canadian choke cherry, and this one got some damage, as you can see, by the uh, last two winters. It's coming back out, and it's going to be fine. This is clethora. This is a tree at Evergreen that I discovered when doing the book plants for Houston and the and the Gulf Coast got a little bit of a little bit of cosmetic damage this is a perennial uh, sunflower that I'll do a whole show on because it's just getting started you can see that beautiful foliage some of the uh, roses that we have that we've had to deal with a little bit of uh, Rose Rosette. This is a viburnum called viburnum or Walters of viburnum. Doing a little work with some compost and some uh, mulch. These two particular products are really good. Come from Texas Pure in uh, Plano, uh, Plano, city of Plano. If I can get in the back door here. Show you a couple more. This is a little different view of the Walters Viburnum. Uh, just going out of flower. Uh, I'm just showing you how three the white flowers were this year of my flowering ash. And then this is the really special tree. This is loquat leaf oak. And it didn't even get any brown leaves or cosmetic damage last winter when it got to zero and has held up really well uh, this past winter when it stayed below freezing for so long. And finally, this is a good one to show you as the last one because this is the 
best quality, fast, really fast growing tree. This is Mexican sycamore. This is a white vitex that hasn't started blooming yet. And I will show you more about my landscaping and other projects uh, later, right here.